So uh, advertising your business on Google. Easy, right? You open an AdWords account, choose your keywords, write a few ads, and you're supposed to have a flood of customers, get rich, and live happily ever after. Well, it doesn't happen that way most of the time. One of the reasons it doesn't is because of a little number in AdWords called Quality Score. Most people don't even know about it because it's hidden by default. You need to hunt it down and find it. Hello. That little number influences how much you pay for each click. But what is Quality Score, really? Hmm? Remember when you were still in school ever so long ago? And the teacher gave a test to the class, and she came back with the results. And some students got good grades, and some got bad grades. And those that got good grades became the teacher's pet, and they got pampered. While you didn't, even though you gave her that apple. <laughs> well, quality score is just like the grades you got back when you were in school. Only this time, Google is the teacher. And in this situation, it's a lot better to become the teacher's pet. If you get good quality scores, you become one of Google's favorite advertisers, and you get more traffic at lower costs, higher ad positions, prominent site links with your ads, product extensions with your ads, and many other little things that you may not even suspect they exist, like champagne and flowers sent to your door. Aww. All right, I made that part up, but you get the idea. Hmm. Uh, by the way, if you get bad grades, you get penalized with higher costs, less exposure, and in some cases, Google doesn't even want to hear about you anymore. Can you say detention? The way Google uses their grading system to reward or punish you is by assigning a quality score number to each and every keyword you advertise on. Every time a keyword performance changes, its quality score changes too. The problem is, in the current AdWords interface, you have no way of tracking how quality scores change in response to keyword performance. All you can see are present quality scores. No past history, no time traveling, no fancy stuff that marketers like us love to see. Including, of course, champagne and flowers at the door. But the worst part of all is that you have no way of knowing what your account looks like globally when it comes to quality score. Think about your keywords. A good AdWords advertiser would have most of them with a score above 7. But if you have a thousand of them, how do you know that most of them are above 7? You don't know. Better yet, how do you know where to start optimizing and increasing your scores for maximum results? You don't know. It's kind of like walking in a maze blindfolded. Had a date like that once. That's when 10 scores kicks in. When you log into your 10 scores account, the first thing you'll see is a chart that shows you how your quality scores are distributed across your account. You'll be able to see in an instant if you're a good student or a bad one. If you're a bad student, 10 scores will show you a priority list of keywords to optimize first in order to become a better student, get better scores, and get cheaper traffic. But the feature that 10 scores users like the most is the tracking component. You can see how each of your keyword quality scores has evolved over time since the day you joined. This gives your keywords a life, and we can all use a life. You can see how they start out and how they grow in maturity. You'll see the impact that higher scores can have on your bottom line over time. You'll also see how keywords get sick and sometimes die. It happens more often than you think. And with the educational material that comes with 10 scores, you'll learn how to heal them. Whether you're a new AdWords advertiser or a Jedi master, you need to track, optimize, and keep your quality scores in check. You need to get them all above 7. And 10 scores will help you with all of it. That's a lot of talk. I'm thirsty. That champagne here yet? Ah, that's a 10 score right there.